Namaskar. Today is International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking. The theme for this year's International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking is Better Knowledge for Better Care. Many of us are very annoyed, very paranoid and really don't know what, what are drugs. What are drugs by the way? Our doctors also prescribe drugs. They are prescribed drugs as medicine which is legitimate and legal according to the government. There are other drugs which are illegal, not prescribed by the doctors. They are drugs which is used by our adolescents, youngsters, teenagers just for a momentary pleasure and relieving their stress. This is illegal. There are two varieties of such drugs, illegal drugs. They are also naturally found and some are synthetically produced. The drugs which are commonly used like ganja, charas, uh, cocaine, heroin, uh, these are all very popularly used. In states like Punjab, uh, there is about 75% of our younger generation who are deeply addicted to drugs or the alcohol. So there are about 10 youngsters in this country every day who are succumbing uh, to this uh, habit of uh, drugs or alcohol. This is a very painful situation that we have. So how do we control the drug manage in India and who are affected? What parents can really do? This is a challenge. This is a challenge not to just the parents. This is a challenge to the peace of this nation. Because this is an international racket. This is an international racket and this is the handwork of the militants across the globe trying to destabilize this country by weakening our younger generation. So what parents can do to combat this? Our parents should engage more with the adolescents and the young, younger generation. See, like very small things can make a lot of difference. You can have dinners with them, more, uh, more interaction with them. You should keep, as parents, you should keep watch on uh, the friends and the peer group of your uh, children. And try to, you know, uh, motivate them. Try to include in a family excursions, go out once in a while. Try to engage as much as possible, especially during 16 to 18 years of vulnerable age group. As a doctor, I am saying, this is through my practical experience, what I have seen around my own colleagues. See, the truck peddlers always target the children from the affluent class. They just don't target the affluent class because of the affordability. They have uh, resources with them. They will see at the schools and colleges from, what, uh, from which vehicles they are coming out. Are they coming from Benz? Are they using uh, their uh, you know, very flashy cars? Are they coming out with a uh, gunman for the schools and institutions? That group is one group. And they will also target another group for them to behave as a middleman between the drug peddler and the affluent class. So they will target uh, the children who belong to the below, below poverty level uh, groups. You know, these people, these students, for the need of money, for the need of their requirements uh, in terms of uh, books, in terms of uh, shelter, for many other essential needs, they will become a pawn in the hands of these drug peddlers. So this is the circuit, this is the modus operandi that the drug peddlers are using. And sorry to say, our system somewhere, we are not, we are not as aggressive as we should have been. If systems can be as vigilant and strict, 
we can control this drug menace and save our young children in this nation drug peddlers also target those international people who have come to india and who have exhausted their visa permits so such vulnerable groups are also utilized by the so called international uh, this is a mafia drug mafia and drug peddlers so how do we break this chain how does the these drugs become so addicted to youngsters and once they are so addicted how does it change them physically how does it change them emotionally how does it change them socially and mentally it it worsens them in all these four facets of life they can't have the same social harmony with their own family members not with their own friends their peer group which is uh, in the school or in the other institution they are studying so they become so panicked so addicted uh, mentally they become so fragile so restless without the drug they just can't move on in life finally what happens these youngsters will lose their moral and their uh, ethical character which was imbibed in them by their parents that they will lose they will become psychologically fragile depressed uh, that element of militancy sets in them and they become criminals they go on to become criminals they go on to become murderers they go on to become thieves in their own homes because they need money they need money to buy a better product in the drugs but i don't want to fear i don't want to create a sense of fear amongst those who are drug addicts we have to fight addiction we need not fight the drug addicts drug addiction may be a social taboo but we need to remove a social taboo of the drug addicts because drug addiction is not a permanent irreversible phenomena it is very much reversible one with our empathy and sympathy with our love and care the family and doctor support we can definitely do it there are a lot of people who are addicts internationally and nationally they have changed their course after joining in admitting in uh, uh, centers for rehabilitation they have become very very moral uh, guys who have gone ahead in life to achieve they have become international achievers this can be a moral booster for those who have just taken up addiction or those who have already addicted and they want to really reform themselves this can be a great cue for you all so i really uh, uh with folded hands i would like to plead all those who have got into addiction mode can really come out of that my dear young friends this is not your end of the journey some guys would be 14 years to 20 25 years but you will not take beyond 3 months or 6 months to completely come out of this addiction de addict yourself there is a beautiful pristine life ahead in the future you will not only build your career you will be happy you will ensure the happiness you spread amongst your family members and you build a robust nation that should be your higher purpose ultimately i urge the young generation to say no to drugs for a healthy life a happy family a better future and for the safety and security of our nation together let's create a drug addiction free india jai 